Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, first off, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'm gonna apologize, I'm next to a highway over here, so you're gonna get some road noise. Uh, so today's been a little different. I know everybody from me to everybody that does Fox Body YouTube shits talk about Fox Body prices. Uh, watched the 93 Cobra R sell last week and a 89 SSC sold this morning or whenever it sold. Uh, so first I'll talk about 93 Cobra R's. I'm kind of, kind of, I won't say an expert, but I've had this my third 93 Cobra R. I'll walk around mine a little bit as we discuss it. Um, I'm not an expert because most of my, all my 93 Cobra R's have had some miles on them. Uh, my first one was number 19. That car's got 42,000 miles on it. That car was the Ford press car. I bought that car in 2000 and I think six or seven as a roller from Arizona. I had to put a motor in it. Uh, now I paid 18 grand for that car back then, which I thought was a ton of money for one of those with no motor. Um, that same car back a couple, six months ago or so sold for way more than that. I don't want to say how much it was. I do know how much it sold for, but you know, I don't want to get in this guy's business. Uh, that's, that's his business. Uh, now my second Cobra R was number 62. That car was, uh, belonged to Chris Kaufman, which also number 19 did as well. Uh, that car, I found it listed on eBay not far after I sold my other Cobra R. I think I bought that when I moved to Utah around 09, 10. Uh, Chris had listed it on eBay and I drove out and picked it up. I also paid 18 grand for that car as a roller. Now that car did have the original motor in it, not the original trans, but it was a 12 point roll cage car. Uh, I put that car back stock. It was still on the MSO, 2000 mile car, but it's all race mileage. I uh, cut the cage out, put it back stock. Uh, that car, I think I sold that one for 45 around 2011 time frame, whatever. So that car starting to get a little bit more value. Now keep in mind, my cars aren't 60 mile wrapper cars. They're driver cars, they're enjoyable cars, stuff you can use. Uh, the car I have now is basically how I got it. I had to put some stuff back stock that wasn't stock on the inside if you watch my past videos. I had to do the door panels and all that other stuff. Now, I know what I paid for my car, this is my business. I can tell you it's substantially way less than the other couple R's that have sold in the last, let's say six months or so. I know the bring a trailer car that just sold, like I said, it's 211. A couple before that sold in the 135 range. Uh, those cars were 10,000 mile cars. Uh, so I know the prices on the Cobra R's are pretty legit. Now my, my thing, if you look at the thumbnail, I'm, what concerns me is basically with the big auctions manipulating the market if we watch this i know dennis whatever his name did the same thing with his fox bodies i don't know five years ago whenever that was at barrett jackson he ran a bunch of cars through and they brought stupid money to let's say maybe people he knew i don't know but it's just my thoughts cars that sold for way more than they should have that brings me to this ssc that sold this morning uh now it's a 660 mile car which it's not a 60 mile car uh, if anybody's on Facebook, Marketplace, or Sling Sites, whatever, everybody's seen, last week there was a 36,000 mile SSC. Uh, two owner car, uh, car sat for a long time, needed motor work, uh, paint needed sprucing, interior needed sprucing, and it had some, some issues with the engine. Uh, rumor has it that car sold for $35,000. Now, when I say market manipulation, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Uh, conspiracy, yada, 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 whatever. But I don't see how there's the one today closed out at 198 with fees i don't see how one car with 36,000 miles that needs a little sprucing sells for 35 or 6 and then the other one sells for 198 do the math y'all to me that don't add up uh now call me crazy we'll see what happens in the next couple of months uh i'm just under speculation that we're gonna see a bunch of low mileage cars all of a sudden pop up for sale that weren't for sale a couple months ago since this car just brought a lot of money now some of that's going to be people like me and your average joe that has a nice saline setting or whatever and they're trying to jump on the bandwagon while the while the skillet's still fresh hot this january and before all the auctions starts uh now i pulled out a couple of my cars my 93r and my 89 saline coupe now the ssc we're talking about and the 93r everybody knows the 93r well not everybody but they only made 107 it's a factory race car 
My thing about the 93Rs is most of these cars, once they're in collector's hands and guys that have the big, big money, and that's not you and that's not me, once they get in collector's hands, finding any of these cars under six figures is going to be hard, regardless of miles, condition, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm just one fat guy talking about Fox bodies. But now the SSC, they made 161 of those cars. They're all identical. Now, some of them had different options. I think some of them had maybe one or two had some heads, port work or something. But as far as paint finish, they all look the same, 161 cars. So there's a lot of them out there. Now, I'm going to show you my Celine notchback. There's only 59 of those ever built, uh, ranging from 88 to 93. Uh, there was 193 coupe built that car was stolen. It's long gone if anybody knows where it's at hit me up Let me know foxjunk73 at gmail.com. I'd love to put that car back together. I know it's out there somewhere Somebody's got to know where it's at uh, So we'll walk around showed you guys my cars before But just gonna kind of give you an idea of the Celine versus kind of the 93 Cobra R and uh, Basically they're Well, let's just look at the cars and we'll kind of compare them. Let's check them out now. All right so this is my 93R. Now keep in mind, my car's got 38,000 miles on it. If you watch my past videos, it's not perfect. Uh, it's got some nicks and chips and, you know, this and that and the other. Uh, 93R, crank windows, uh, no AC, no radio. Uh, yep, four-cylinder seats, no back seat. Uh, basically, you got carpet back there that covers the spare, and that's really about it. Uh, now... The 93 Cobra R, five lug. It's the only Fox body other than the SVO that was five lug. Uh, the rear end in the 93 Cobra R is Lincoln Mark 7. The front is basically uh, bare, two piston caliper in the front with the 94 spindles. So it's kind of kind of prototype in the front, uh, just kind of hodgepodge stuff they threw together. Uh, now, Celine Coupe, five lug swap. Uh, front is basically Fox body, uh, five lug, Ranger rotors, and SVO in the back. So that's basically the sling. Now inside the sling, you got a lot more uber niceties, flow fit interior, uh, just super, super nice. That's kind of the difference between that and the 93 Cobra R. Now, Ooh, that shit like butter. So I'm just kind of ranting today. I'm a conspiracy theorist on these prices and where they're going. And are people manipulating the market? Um, but when I say that, let's say you got three super ass rich dudes or four that have been sitting on these cars for, I don't know, four or five years. And Joe talks to Johnny and says, hey, let's run one through and we'll get Bill and Frank and Mark or whoever or whatever these guys' names is to run this car up. And, uh, if, if he runs it up to this, we'll just pay Steve or whoever back his money and we'll split the fees. And then when we sell all these eight or nine more the next month or two, our profit margins would be higher. Makes sense. I mean, I can't see one car that's got 36,000 miles on it selling for 36 grand and another one bringing 198 just because of mileage and one needs a little bit more work. Doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I watch Bring a Trailer a lot because their auctions seem to be more down to earth, a little more practical. Uh, but yeah, that's just a video I'm making today. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, if if you think I'm nuts, let me know if you think I'm nuts. And uh, yeah, that's my question. Is the market being manipulated? Are these real money? I think the 93R market's kind of kind of where it is. It should be, uh, being that they made 107 of those cars. Uh, an SSC bringing 198 for the Celine guys. That's awesome if it's real money. I'm not saying that it's not. It's just the one selling for 36 grand. And this one 198 within two or three days apart. Oh, and there was a 2000 R. Bring a trailer. Uh, I think the guy that bought the 93 R bought it too. That car, 3000 mile 2000 R. It brought 80 something. Yesterday a 2000 R Mecum 3000 mile car brought 130. 50 grand? I had one guy on Facebook. Oh, it had a radio on the front plate. 50 grand? For a radio on the front plate? Come on now. Think about it. Let me know if you think I'm nuts. Uh, it's just stuff I know we all think about, we all talk about. 
behind closed doors or in the parking lots it shows and where the value of these cars are going and what where the market's going uh between my Celine Coupe, uh, I wouldn't take 198 for it. I know that sounds stupid, but they made 59. It's a 4,000 mile car. Uh, my Cobra R, I wouldn't take 150 for it. Uh, basically because I know if I ever sell this car, I'll never afford another one. It's just like my Ford GT. I got in the cars right when the money was right and I could afford to do it. Now I probably couldn't afford to replace any of them. Uh, that's just, just where the market's kind of going or where the market's getting ran up to. So, sorry for rambling on this video. If you think I'm right on the money, let me know. Uh, I'm going to do another video, walk around on these couple of my cars real quick here today and give you all something to watch over this weekend and uh, maybe in between football games or whatever. Again, I don't watch a lot of football, but my Steelers are playing. They lucked into it. Don't ask me how the hell that happened. Uh, three teams, same conference got in. Hey, that's awesome. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you all have any questions, let me know in the comments what you think I'm crazy, market manipulation, real money. I don't know. It's, it just seems kind of crazy to me. Uh, but that's where we're at. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have a good day.